What you see here today is hyperspace, uh, a one-third gigapixel resolution, uh, the world's highest resolution, fully natively supported display where every single pixel can be addressed. Uh, what we're going to talk uh, about today is how does the system work, how is it configured, and how does it really get used for science, engineering, and even arts uh, research. Uh, what you see are 70 display tiles. Every single tile has 4 megapixel resolution or 2560 by 1600 pixel in total, uh, giving us 286 million pixels worth of display real estate to work with, or one pixel per American citizen based on the 2001 census. What we see here are commodity systems, uh, gaming level uh, PCs, LCD tiles, 30 inch tiles, uh, a lot of networking, as you can see right here, a good deal of power uh, to get all of this uh, to really take life. What really is the game changer is the software stack, the algorithms, the techniques, the synchronization uh, sitting underneath it. So on the software level, building collaborative digital workspaces is what our research is about, and really harnessing the power that the CPU uh, provides us with. So in this case, these are quad-core uh, Intel uh, CPUs, which were kindly donated to us, uh, completely changing what can be done in this cluster type environment. Let's start with some biomedical research. There's an image of a red brain acquired by the National Center for Microscopy Research. So we can actually go into the brain at different levels of resolution, all the way down uh, to the neurons, or zoom back out and see overall structure. The visual expressiveness, the level of resolution in this case, allows us to look at topology, uh, rock formation, uh, erosion on the surface, as well as uh, very detailed other characteristics that might emerge within that imagery. Here's New Orleans uh, to the left uh, before Katrina, to the right after Katrina. That is nice and green, are not trees, there's not vegetation, but water. So the city itself has been uh, thoroughly flooded. Now this image data, which was available very early on, uh, post uh, Katrina, for analysis, but the challenge is how do you digest this information, how do you use it now for decision support. So what you see here is the uh, NASA Blue Marble dataset. It's a 3.7 gigapixel image per month. Now it turns out there are 12 months worth of data being displayed uh, right here. So we have 44 gigapixels worth of image information and with a flick of a, the mouse wheel I can actually dial through uh, the individual months. So we're in January, February, March, April. What we see right away is uh, the change of uh, the snow line. And again, all this data is right at your fingertip to be explored and analyzed. 